Yes, hello, Aman. Welcome on your Pudia platform, and let's start your thermodynamic snap for your final JKPSC interview for the post of assistant engineer. Yes, sir. So, Aman, what understanding you got after studying this subject? What is your understanding related to thermodynamics? Yes, sir. So, thermodynamic basically we deals with different types of laws in thermodynamics, such as the zeroth law, first law, second law, and third law. So zeroth law basically tells us about. No, I'm uh, I'm not asking you different laws. Just tell me brief about the significance of each and every law. What conclusion? What idea we are getting? Yes, sir. So uh, for yes, sir. For zeroth law, we have the property known as temperature. Mm -hmm. Temperature. We measure different. Um, temperature is the thermometric property, uh, which is given by the zeroth law. And for mm -hmm. first law, we have. the property known as the internal energy we uh, the first law gives us that for a cycle uh, net heat transfer equals to work transfer mm -hmm. and from second law we uh, know about entropy uh, we know um, the process will flow in which direction and it also tells us that the process will happen or not and for uh, in talking about third law of thermodynamics it tells us about a reference point that is absolute zero of temperature that zero kelvin with respect to that we define any other property mm. okay i mean you know for ideal gas and uh, we define its internal energy and enthalpy as a function of temperature only yes sir so how we can say that internal energy of an ideal gas depends only on temperature yes sir sir basically for ideal gas we uh, consider only temperature because um, there is no uh, for uh, so, uh, we know that internal energy for real gases depends upon constant volume as well as temperature but for ideal gas it it only depends on temperature for ideal gas the molecular level uh, the volume of molecule um, is considered negligible in comparison to the system so in ideal gas we consider only temperature as internal oh, energy that, is that's why you are you mentioned one of the assumptions the volume of the gas molecule is considered negligible yes sir as compared to the volume of the gas that's fine but how it is associated with the internal energy how we can say that internal energy is a function of temperature only yes sir so internal energy is the combination of basically two types of energy internal energy kinetic internal energy and potential en internal energy kinetic energy of the molecule plus potential energy of the molecule fine good okay yes sir for um, um, at uh, for ideal gas the um, it only depends upon the kinetic energy of molecule so kinetic energy of molecule is basically dependent upon so why, the why the potential energy of the ideal gas is considered as negligible very correctly you are mentioning aman yes, potential sir. energy of an ideal gas is considered to be negligible why so because uh, we know that ideal gas we considered it to be um, because the uh, basic difference is that the intermolecular attraction is yes the, uh, very right now you are reaching to the right point because for ideal gas intermolecular force of attraction is considered to be negligible that's why the potential energy will be zero yes sir fine fine okay so you mentioned about direction of a process like second law tells us about the direction of a process so in which direction okay a process a real process is going to take place how we get the direction of a process so we get the direction of process by using the clausius inequality mm -hmm. it, it gives for for a cycle we define clausius inequality gives us the feasibility of a particular process or cycle or it gives the direction sir uh sir it basically tells us about the feasibility mm -hmm. feasibility for a, for a cyclic integral of this for cycle cyclic integral of dq by t is equal to 0 that means the process is reversible in nature and mm -hmm. if it is less than 0 then we say it is in irreversible in nature so how we get direction through that closest inequality so uh, we know that uh, according to second law of clausius statement mm -hmm. that uh, uh, anything uh, we there is a need of some work to transfer heat from lower temperature to higher temperature it does okay. not it does not get um, 
transfer uh, that heat from lower temperature to higher temperature we have to provide some amount of work to that okay so this statement basically tells us the direction of that heat transfer to takes place mm -hmm. from if we want to uh, transfer so heat it means from, it means always the uh, direction of a process will be from a high energy to low energy level that how you can say that for a spontaneous process the direction yes. will be like that yes. but there are so many processes which takes place by some kind of external investment by some with some kind of external force like yes, refrigeration sir. yes okay sir. refrigeration heat is not flowing from high to low it is flowing from low to high temperature to high temperature that, that direction that process is also feasible possible so we have to provide some work there Excellent. Ah, that's fine. That's so. If you are providing some work, then all processes are possible in reverse direction also. Yes, sir. Mm, that how we can say that mm. is whatever small work you are providing, you can yes, reverse sir. that direction. You can uh, transfer the heat from low to high. Sir, um, there are some ex exceptions, but I think we can provide if. It depends upon the application. Acha, let us let me give you a case. For example, Aman. Okay, yes, let's sir. consider there is a pipe. Yes, sir. Okay, and you you know you have provided some kind of heating coil over some part of the pipe. Yes, sir. Okay, so you are giving some current, some voltage difference is there. So you know some current is passing through that coil. It means you are heating the water which is going to pass through that section. Okay, Aman. Yes, Yes, sir. So, how you will check the direction of a process? Like water is flowing from uh, left to right or like right to left. How you will check? Yes, sir. sir, in this we think that uh, it basically uh, in pipe we talk about pressure difference. Mm -hmm. uh, in which direction the pressure is high? Uh, the, um, flow, the the flow of water will take place from higher pressure point to lower pressure point uh, okay aman what is a what uh, you know about steady flow energy equation yes sir what is the link relationship between a steady flow energy equation and a bernoulli's equation yes sir sir from steady flow energy equation by uh, by using steady flow energy equation we find uh, using differential form of steady equation we find the Euler's equation of motion. And from that, by integrating Euler equation of motion, we have Bernoulli's theorem. Mm. Sure. Aman, for example, there is a LPG cylinder and some gas is leaking out from that. Yes, sir. So how you will write the energy balance and mass balance for that? Sir, it is a case of unsteady flow process. Mm -hmm. I think. So how you energy balance? Or mass balance case I will try. Mm -hmm. Done, Aman. Mm, okay, okay. Put it, put it, put it in front of the camera. Yes, yes, fine, fine, fine. Chalo, okay, okay. This dm by dt will come. Mass exit will not come. Aman. Dm by dt that is yes, sir, yes, mass sir. in minus mass out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Apni energy ke. Acha, mera last question aap se. Available energy kya hota hai? Yes, sir. So available energy is the maximum amount of energy that we can uh, that we uh, convert from heat by reversibly. And second assumption is that the that uh, that system is brought to that state. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is the maximum amount useful work that we can obtain. What is unavailable energy? 
so uh, unavailable energy is that type of energy which we cannot obtain which reversibly what into work yes sir reversibly we can loss of available energy se aap kya samajhte ho the loss of availability is basically irreversibility yeah kyun hota hai irreversibility kyun hoti what are the reason behind irreversibility yes sir so it is basically due to entropy generation due to and basically there are internal irreversibilities irreversibilities like like friction hmm chalo theek hai aman main abhi feedback de deta hu aman understanding hai aapka subject ka i started with basic uh, you know question thermodynamics kya hai what are the different laws you have studied some important significance of all these laws usse fir maine kuch question puche aapse so you are having a good understanding of the subject thoda sa aap nervous the aaj that may be due to maybe your first interview wo hai koi baat nahi kuch aur lagaoge interviews to aapka thoda aur confidence badh jayega okay yes actually in practice session ka yahi fayda hai apne jo mind hai uski exercise ho jati hai ki hame recall kaise karna hai yes because interview mein we will get very less time actually to recall a particular thing अंडरस्टैंडिंग yes. बच्चों का होता है बट यू नो समाइम सम काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इज रिक्वायर्ड मेरे ख्याल से वो करोगे आप तो आप बहुत अच्छे लेवल पे आ जाओगे यू आर लुकिंग सिंसियर कंफर्टेबल थे आप थोड़ा सा हैंड मूवमेंट बहुत ज्यादा नहीं रखना है ठीक है yes. बहुत ज्यादा हैंड मूवमेंट नहीं रखना वेयर एवर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड यू कैन यूज यूर हैंड्स बट बहुत ज्यादा नहीं करना चाहिए और हाथ सामने नहीं आने चाहिए ठीक है क्योंकि वहां टेबल पे बैठोगे ना अगर आप इंटरव्यू में सामने बैठोगे अगर थोड़ा डिस्टेंस है तो सम लिटिल बिट हैंड मूवमेंट यू कैन हैव अदरवाइज टेबल के ऊपर हैंड तो कभी मत करना ठीक है ओके सर चलो और बाकी ठीक है आपका अच्छा रहा अमन प्रिपेयर करते रहो ओके गुड लक बेस्ट लक फॉर योर फाइनल इंटरव्यू थैंक यू सर